Hey everybody, John here with WebAI and I'm here to show you how to train a model in Navigator. So you're going to open up your models tab and we're going to uh, select which model we want to train. So we're going to go with the ResNet classifier, uh, but you can also download you know, any of these other models here. So once we're in here, we're going to name the model and we'll call this uh, Crack Detection Model 2. And then we're going to upload our data. So you're going to want to structure your data in the following way, your training data, your validation and test data, and then any data that you actually want to run inference on. So you're going to want to have the negative and the positive of the, you know, the classes or other names. And so we're going to start with the training data and then add our validation data. And then we move on to the augmentations. So WebAI automatically applies all of these augmentations to your data set. And this is to help you train much more accurate models with a much smaller data set so that you, know, you don't actually have to go and create or find all of these different you know, augmented images yourself. So we're just gonna check that all of our images were uploaded correctly, that our classes and our class balance is where we want it. And then we're going to move on to this training wizard. So you want to rename this execution, um, whatever is going to help you understand you know, the differences in the hyperparameters or whatever iteration that you're running with here. And you can tune the hyperparameters uh, to whatever you like. And then once you're happy with where this is at, you can go ahead and press run, and this will start training. So right now it is preparing the data set, and then it's going to start training. And as it does, you'll see uh, the loss and the accuracy uh, start to show up on these graphs as it works its way through the epics. So you can see the information up here, you know, with the different epics, the validation loss, the validation accuracy, um, all of these metrics up here. You can also hover over these graphs to, you know, see the training and validation data, loss and accuracy in these graphs here as it finishes up. And then once it's finished training, it's going to package up the model into an element that you can drag into the canvas, connect other elements to, and then start running inference on. So you can see that this model is ready to go and that all of the training flows have been complete. So we can go ahead and you'll see that the model is now here and that you have all of your other models as well as um, you know their accuracy stats here as well. And just drop it into the canvas. You can start stitching it up into these other elements.